Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be about your person. What are they currently thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you, towards the near future? Please ignore my dogs in the background. I don't know, they have issues. Um, <laughs> so let's jump right into the reading. Scorpio, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates, what applies to you. All right, spirit, angels, guides, messages, please. Guidance for Scorpio. What are their person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio at this time, spirit? Person that Scorpio is thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio at this time? Let's see what we get, Scorpio energies five of wands eight of cups the world okay so this is very simple um, very clear energy here I feel like there was some sort of conflict and one of you walked away and started a new cycle or one of you is currently having conflict with another person and is walking away to start a new cycle uh, bottom of the deck ace of Pentacles yeah a new opportunity here a new offer something that someone's working towards or wanting to accept for some of you this is a job a job is leading someone away and maybe they're walking into your life because of this let's see what else tell me more for scorpio spirit for scorpio what are their person's energies at this time what other person's energies at this time? Balancing act, I keep getting this card. What other person's energies towards Scorpio? Broken silence. Open up, be vulnerable and express your true feelings. And then balancing act is about juggling, indecision, balance. I get some more energies please for Scorpio. Sudden realization. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. Interesting, Scorpio. I feel like this person, they're realizing something, obviously, with sudden realization, but I think it's letting, leading them, not letting them, leading them to break their silence. So this person probably has not communicated with you about how they're feeling right now. Maybe communication will come. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a little bit more clarity here. Tell me about the five of wands. What is this conflict drama about with the five of wands? The hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the five of wands. The hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me about the five of wands. What's going on here with this five of wands? Four of wands. I feel like this is some sort of conflict at home. When I see the hierophant with the four of wands, I instantly think marriage or home with another person. You could be married to this person, Scorpio, or one of you could be married and having issues in the home. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like someone's really thinking a lot about this conflict and maybe they're even wondering if they want to stick around for it because the Eight of Cups is here. So someone's thinking about a departure. I feel like this is someone that's checked out and... Um, I feel like for some of you as well, this person has stuck around or dealt with this problem because it was the right thing to do because maybe they didn't want to break a promise or a commitment. Maybe they didn't want to disrupt their home life. Yeah, Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Someone's definitely thinking about leaving this behind. And there's the Two of Swords, which is reminding me of that balancing act. The decision is a hard one, a tough decision. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Okay. Oh yeah. The devil, Capricorn energy. This is super clear energy. Um, and then the 10 of wands. So, the, you know, someone's leaving this burden behind this unhealthy attachment, this difficulty. Um, they're thinking about walking away from it. Now, Scorpio, you could have walked away from this connection because it was too much for you as well. You know, take it as it resonates because I feel like I'm speaking to two different Scorpios. One group of Scorpios, I feel like you're the one that decided to walk away because of the issues 
and have a new cycle for yourself and this person's thinking about it. When they think about you, they think about this, the fact that you walked away. But others of you, I feel like this person, um, like for the second group of Scorpios, they're walking away from something in their life that has been a burden, an obstacle, an obligation with the Ten of Wands. Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups? Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Yeah, the star, Aquarius energy, hope, faith, and for a new beginning, uh, two of wands. So I feel like wh whatever decision this person's making, um, which I believe is to walk walk away, but I feel like there's a different um, there's different reasons for why they're walking away. So whatever path they're choosing here with the two of wands, they have hope for the future. I feel uh, maybe they're doing this for themselves because it's the best thing for them. Um, and if you're that group of Scorpios that you walked away, I feel like this person still has hope that there will be some sort of return or that they can fix this in some way. We'll see when we get into like um, the energy oracles for what they're thinking or feeling. But this is what I'm picking up just based on the tarot so far. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Capricorn energy, by the way, I was just going to say, <laughs> I put down the King of Pentacles and I was like, you might be dealing with an earth sign because I have Hermit, the Hierophant and the Devil. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and then Aquarius here. King of Pentacles. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Tell me about the world. I feel like that King of Pentacles is like a symbol of whoever's going after that opportunity because there's a big pentacle that he has right there. Tell me about the world. What do we need to know about this world energy? Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this new cycle has to do with a certain partnership. Tell me about the world. Wow, the tower. The tower with the Two of Cups in the world. Yeah, something... I feel like this is that departure or there's something unexpected about this new cycle. Let's jump into their energy because I want to know exactly, like maybe I can narrow down which group of Scorpios this is really for. Can I get some insight into this person's thoughts, feelings towards Scorpio spirit? Okay. I see you in my dreams. Can I get some insight, please, into this person's thoughts, feelings, energies? towards Scorpio, towards Scorpio. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Yeah, um, they're breaking the silence though, or at least they're thinking about it. I wonder why they're afraid. You matter to me at the bottom of the deck. Let me get a stellar soulmate. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? We will be together again. See, I, I'm not getting like a narrowing down of energy here. Like I feel like it, this still fits for both Scorpios. Bottom of the deck, you are what I've been searching for all along. Let me get a hidden truth oracle. I just want to make sure that I'm giving all of the possible, like I'm, I'm using as many, or uh, I'm trying to get as many messages as possible to narrow down the energy if I can. Can I get one more, please? One more energy spirit for the person that Scorpio is hazard will be dealing with what are their energies towards scorpio what are their energies towards scorpio i'm so attracted to you okay so i feel like this is somebody that you know scorpio i replay our conversations over and over at the bottom of the deck you know this person and you have some sort of history with this person but again you know i still feel like there's i'm reading for two groups of scorpios First group, like I said, you walked away from this person and I feel like they're hoping that there's a new cycle here, a new beginning with you. Uh, this might be unexpected. You might not be expecting that from this person. And the other group of Scorpios, I feel like this person's walking away from something in their life 
and causing a tower there or causing a tower when they return. Could go either way. Let me know in the comments which group you fall under because, yeah, I have not been able to like <laughs> determine which one's which. So let's look at what their intentions are for the future, for the near future here. And Scorpio, if you're enjoying the reading or you just like how I read, uh, please consider hitting that like button or subscribing if you haven't already. All right, let's see. Can we get some insight spirit on what this person's intentions are for the near future? The person that Scorpio is thinking about connecting with, what are their intentions for the near future when it comes to Scorpio or this connection with Scorpio? What are their intentions? Towards the near future. What are their intentions? Towards the near future when it comes to Scorpio or this connection with Scorpio. Now, I didn't see anything um, about communication or action specifically in the previous spread other than that walking away energy and the world. You know, the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So I didn't really see anything there about communication, for example, even though I have break the silence here. So let's see if their intentions for the near future involve some sort of action. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of... Okay, some of you are definitely dealing with an Earth sign here. Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Overall energy, the King of Pentacles. So this is your person's energy that we're tapping into here. But I again... I don't see any actual, like, no energy here that I can point to as specific action. And I think it's because of this Two of Swords. So let's clarify. Let's start with this Knight of Pentacles, though. The slowest knight. So things are taking some time. Um, the intention is to do the right thing, to uh, do things in the right timing with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, definitely Earth energy there. Uh, I feel like this is someone that... It's not rushing things. So if they are walking away from someone or if they're hoping to return, they're not walking, they're not doing this quickly, basically. Okay, so let's see. Can I get some insight into this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio, please? What's this Knight of Pentacles doing here? Four of Wands, okay. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Wow, Two of Cups. soulmate energy here for sure tell me about the knight of pentacles the six of cups oh yeah uh knight of cups at the bottom of the deck holy crap okay so this is like soulmate 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 when i see all these energies together you know sometimes these energies by themselves i don't immediately think oh soulmate twin flame or any of that but when they're all together heck yeah i do heck yeah i do <laughs> this is like soulmate energy so what i'm getting here is this person probably puts such value on this connection with you they probably recognize that you are their soulmate you are it for them and so they don't feel this need to rush right because they're already sure of maybe how they feel about you or just they're confident that they will have their soulmate you know knight of cups could be that someone's coming in with an apology or just expressing how they feel um, letting you know their feelings and tensions towards you. The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles together are like my practical, genuine um, knights. So they tend to be, you know, the opposite of players, right? They tend to just, you know, be very practical and loyal and determined. And also a little sensitive. <laughs> um, the Knight of Cups is, is a very... Um, emotionally mature person so okay so let's see what this queen of pentacles is about i think this might be you scorpio you might be this queen of pentacles because they're showing up as the king of pentacles all right tell me about this queen of pentacles unless this is a third party energy we'll see tell me about the queen of pentacles what do we need to know about this queen of pentacles the two of pentacles the empress oh my goodness Okay, can I get one more please for this Queen of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Cups. 
Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. Okay, so the third party, I believe there is a third party, someone else. Does not have to be a romantic partner. Like this doesn't have, the third party doesn't have to be the person they're with romantically. It could be any sort of interference. It could be a family member, um, some sort of obstacle that, in, you know, in, interrupts this connection. Bad influences, ex-partners, current partners, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I feel like this person's really worried about this influence. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, this is someone that's super anxious and scared about the outcome of something. Um, and the Six of Swords is right behind that. So it's almost like they're thinking about this departure and there's worries here. And I think there's worries because the third party, which I'm starting to think is this Queen of Pentacles. I think some of you are dealing with someone that already is with another person. And I think that this person is worried about that. Some of you, if you're dealing with an Aries, go watch that Aries reading. Okay. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. This person's worried about, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. They're worried about the outcome. There's the Seven of Cups. Am I making the right choice? Am I doing the right thing? Am I going about this the right way? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that's why the Knight of Pentacles is here. And that's why they're taking their time. Because they don't want to make a mistake, this person. Tell me about the uh, Queen of Cups. I think you're this Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, please. The Emperor. Yep. I feel like you're this Queen of Cups. Aries energy with the Emperor. There's the Sun. I think you're this Queen of Cups. And they're dealing with this Queen of Pentacles. Um, can I get one more, please, for the Two of Pentacles? And then I'm going to look at that Two of Swords because that's the block. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Yeah, they're worried about success. This person's worried about future success, future, the outcome of this. Um, maybe because this right here is a liability. This Queen of Pentacles, this third party energy, it's an obstacle. And there's, uh, I'm almost getting like, they don't know how this person will react or what the difficulties will be. I'm getting the, the word is curveball. This person's worried about a curveball. Okay. All right. So let's look at this two of swords. Almost like they don't know what this person might do. Very strange. Okay. Tell me about this two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Page of swords. Okay. Tell me about the Two of Swords. What do we need to know about this Two of Swords? Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Two of Swords. The Judgment card. And then the Magician. So I feel like when it comes to this decision of walking away, this person is most likely having a realization about what they need to do because I have judgment with the ace of wands and judgment is like this sudden realization card. It's an awakening. It's a realization over your past actions, past mistakes, learning lessons. And then you take that knowledge with you into the world. The world comes right after judgment. And then after the world, you would have something like an ace of wands. So I feel like this person's having some sort of realization about the mistakes they've made in the past and their approach for the future. I think this person is manifesting with the magician, trying to make things happen with the magician, and they're terrified of making another mistake. They don't wanna do what they did in the past. What's this page of swords about? Page of swords is definitely the analytical one, the let's talk things out. Um, they do research. Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords, please. Death, Scorpio, there you are. And then there's the Moon, Pisces energy. This person's debating how much to tell you. And also, they want, it's like they want to tell you, I'm free. I've ended a situation, Scorpio. I'm free, I'm independent. I'm ready to have this Ace of Wands with you. But I feel like they're not really free, if that makes sense. 
it's like they're they've started the process but they're not complete and so they're trying to d debate with themselves what they need to do how much to reveal the moon is here yeah and then the ace of swords so it's like how much do how how honest am i with scorpio about what is going on and what expectations they should have because i feel like this person the closer they see the end of the tunnel or the closer they get to this new start i feel like the closer they get there the more excited and optimistic they become the more they want to like reach out but this person is wondering if that's a good idea should i reach out to scorpio because if I reach out to Scorpio, I don't want to get Scorpio's hopes up because I'm not done with this. And I'm not even sure how this is going to play out. So I don't have any confidence, you know, on like when this is all going to be done or when I'm going to be completely done with this situation. So that's kind of where your person's at right now. I feel like they are very motivated. They recognize what you mean to them. You are their soulmate, period. You are what they've been searching for. Um, we will be together again. That's the energy that this person's bringing, right? But they're in another situation. They're dealing with something else. So that's the, <laughs> the liability. So uh, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this, um, how they feel about you reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.